Okay. So, uh, yeah, welcome everybody to the uh, webinar here. Um, well, so I'm going to go ahead and introduce myself. Um, my name is James Converse. I'm the Chief Solutions Architect for ZBrains.net. We're a Zoho Premium Partner and uh, been in this uh, Zoho ecosystem for just over five years. Uh, before that, I was working with ERP systems um, for a variety of companies. But uh, when I started working with Zoho, I noticed how fast they were coming out with new features, and it's really exciting to be a part of coming from the accounting world where basically nothing ever changes. Um, so uh, really excited to be a, a Zoho partner and, and uh, really experiencing the kind of growth that Zoho has been having. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, there are two parts to this webinar. Uh, one is this slide deck, which just kind of says what we're going to go through. And then there's the live uh, demo that we're going to go through. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and get through the deck as fast as possible so that it's not ultra boring <laughs> and show you the live uh, scheduler. Um, and uh, feel free to uh, raise your hand along the way. We'll uh, and then uh, shoot out questions. Questions. We'll answer the questions at the end of the webinar. Okay, so here we go. I hope everybody can see my screen. Um, <clears throat> so this is about the uh, Zoho Smart Scheduler, uh, appointment setting for your service company made simple. Um, so there are a variety of service companies, right? Um, I, I think the ones that have the most difficult scheduling uh, are field service companies because they have to, you know, send people to different places geographically, right? But um, I mean, we're a professional service company. We have the same kind of uh, similar challenges, but we don't uh, usually send people into the field being a uh, you know, cloud service company. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to go through four ways. The smart schedule helps improve the life of your staff. That means help them schedule appointments quicker, reduce cycle time on your, uh, on your leads, as well as on your appointments, um, and, and ultimately make you more money by uh, allowing you to get more appointments in a day. Um, this is my, are you wasting time and money tabbing through multiple calendars, sending confirmation emails and clients, uh, trying to figure out how to make your staff and technicians more efficient? Well, look no further. <laughs> uh, four ways the scheduler helps improve your life uh, for both you and your staff. Okay, number one feature, <clears throat> so is um, uh, mapping, is uh, just integration with Zoho, right? This thing is built from the ground up to integrate with Zoho CRM. Um, so we allow you to map. Uh, custom fields and standard fields to the smart scheduler without having to double enter everything. Um, we allow you to create appointments on the fly. We're actually recommending, um, <clears throat> I'm going to show you this, we actually recommend open appointment slots rather than you having to find who to send and when. So this is a, a print screen of the deal module within Zoho CRM. We add a few buttons up here. Um, some of these buttons are relevant, so the smart scheduler button or you, have a, you can make custom buttons as well. Um, so you click the button, and uh, remember, again, this is just a slide deck. We're going to go through this in a live demo. <clears throat> so you click the button, and it'll launch the scheduler and push all of that data from your deal module or any related module into the scheduler. Um, <clears throat> number two, so we allow you to set employee skills. So you can have combinations of skills. Um, this, is, this is relevant when, when you uh, service multiple product lines or you work with different kinds of business. Uh, let's just say somebody can, can build fences and they can build decks, but maybe, maybe another person can only build a fence or maybe you have different types of fences. So we allow you to set those skills and, and only recommend somebody that is a good fit for that particular appointment, whether it be a sales appointment or, or an actual you know, installation or an actual service appointment. Uh, next thing is uh, territories. So we use uh, territories by zip code. Uh, I'll talk about the roadmap for that in a little bit, but um, we, we uh, allow you to uh, automatically create a territory based on the zip code or a series of zip codes. That way uh, you're not sending somebody, you know, I'm in, I'm in Los Angeles, um, so that you know, if we have to drive to the west side, even though it be about 20, 25 miles, it takes about two hours sometimes to get over there. Um, so, uh, you know, you know, if I had if I had somebody set up by territory, I wouldn't travel, uh, make them travel from the east side to the west side pretty much at any point during the day, um, unless it was a weekend. Uh, so that's something we allow you to do. You set up a series of zip codes. <clears throat> um, so here's the skills and then here are the zip codes. Let me go back. Here are the skills. You can assign multiple skills to a person. And here are the zip codes. So I define my own territories, and then I add zip codes within those territories. <clears throat> um, next thing, I kind of already mentioned this. So we're actually recommending 
open appointment slots and we're color coding them based on the capacity of that particular person. Um, this is a daily capacity. You can set that in a maximum number of appointments and you can decide on your own color coding. Generally, the white, uh, no, no background color at all is no appointments set yet. Green is uh, under capacity, yellow is at capacity, and red is overbooked. Um, so you can see that here uh, when you're setting an appointment. So again, it recommends people to send for a particular appointment based on the skills, territory, and availability. Um, <clears throat> next thing here is a uh, mobile app. We have a, a mobile app that uh, actually tracks the, the route that somebody drove, and you can optimize that route if, um, if you, you look at their route and you see it's sending them, let's just say, to the east side and the west side and back, or you know, not in a nice circular pattern. Uh, we have a way to optimize the route to send them in a nice circular pattern. Uh, we're also doing proximity scheduling, meaning that we're going to show you an appointment that's uh, show you a time slot that's closest to another. Um, we, we're um, <clears throat> uh, also showing you the you know the actual drive time and mileage. Um, mentioned route optimization, and with the mobile app, we are tracking the route that somebody drove versus the route they're at, they were supposed to drive. Um, we also have uh, another little feature here. Uh, with SMS, we have an SMS integration with Twilio. That's an outbound only at this time. So you can send an appointment confirmation and an appointment reminder. You can do that by email as well. Um, but that's when the appointment is booked, 24 hours out, and also one hour out uh, from, from the appointment. Um, talk about the roadmap for SMS a little bit later. So here you go. Um, so this is another screen where I have two appointments. This is someone coming down, looks like San Diego, because <laughs> I see Legoland right there. Um, they're coming down and uh, we want to send them on a nice circular pattern and then come right back up. So this is a Google map. Uh, this is our interface uh, over the top of a Google map, optimized route button here. I'll show you that in a sec when we get to the live demo. Um, <clears throat> that instead of sending them back and forth, I mean, there's only two appointments here, but let's just say they had three and it was going to route them back and forth. We can adjust that. Um, so now um, I'll come back to this slide later. I'm going to show you uh, the actual product. And we're going to start here from within the deal module of Zoho CRM. Um, it doesn't really matter what stage you're at, but um, if I was setting a sales appointment, obviously I'd be uh, up here more in the sales cycle rather than all the way at the end. So we're, we're looking at a deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click the uh, Field Tech custom button. Field Tech is the name of the uh, the actual uh, field service automation platform, and uh, the Smart Scheduler is a module within that. Um, and that's our that's our baby. <laughs> Um, so here we go. I pushed the button. It passed in. Looks like this appointment is saying Sacramento. Um, all skills will do. I can uh, ch change skills if I wanted to, but the system just pushed that data right in from the CRM. So you can add custom fields if you wanted to, uh, if you had particular, a language that someone needed to speak, if a particular product line that they were servicing or any other skill, it's totally user definable. Um, so any custom field in the CRM can, can, can be pushed to any custom field or standard field in the smart scheduler. So the system is actually recommending two people, ABC store coordinator, who's obviously a test user, and then Jeremy Moslin, who is our content manager <laughs> um, for our demo, <laughs> it's a demo environment. Um, so it's recommending two people. Um, it's saying here that from the previous appointment, this could be uh, the whole person's home location as well, but from their previous stop, that it's 8.7 miles and about a 22 minute travel time to get them to this this one, right? To, to send this person at that time of the day. Um, so it you know, looks like uh, Jeremy only has one appointment because it's saying the same time for all of these. So Jeremy probably only has one appointment. Um, here's, here's another one where the person's further away. Obviously I'd wanna pick the one that, assuming that the prospect or customer was okay with it, I would pick the one that's closest to us, right? That's how we maximize our, uh, route density. I would just go ahead and click on that. Um, the event title is already preset. I can select an event type. Um, I have install assessment. You can, again, define those if you have more uh, appointments that are sales related and others that are actual like service or installation based. You can also update information back in the CRM. So if I wanted to actually update the stage back in the CRM whenever I submit this, of course, it's going to write back to the CRM. Also integrates with Google Calendar. Um, if you're if you're if you're using Zoho CRM and already integrating with Google Calendar, you probably don't need both. Um, but 
I can uh, also add guests to this. This is the person that was from the CRM that I invited here. So I'm going to go ahead and just, oh, I removed my skill. Sorry. You do have to have a skill. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and schedule this. And that's all I need to do. So uh, from a scheduler's perspective, I literally just click the button, choose a slot, and hit and hit save. Okay. Now, I can... Um, I can manually create an appointment. It doesn't prevent me from using Google Calendar, from using Zoho Calendar in the way it's intended. Um, this, this actually just flips it around and recommends who to send and when. <clears throat> I'm gonna cover a, a few more features here since I have the window open. So we have a dashboard. These are the kind of main KPIs that people uh, have asked for the most. So lead cycle time, what is that? That's the time when the lead comes in from the lead module to the time our actual appointment is uh, set. I mean, that's basically how fast we responded and said, yep, we can get someone out there. Um, appointment cycle time is uh, when the request for the appointment came in um, so that the event created date time versus the actual uh, uh, start date time of the appointment. So how long did it take you to actually get there, right? The, you know, it, it kind of shows you how much of a backlog you might have or could, could be a skill gap or a variety of things. Uh, average number of appointments per day. Uh, this is just so we can show that it's actually going up. And then this right here shows appointment time versus downtime, meaning no appointments versus drive time. Uh, so we are calculating drive time. I'll show you that right now. Go ahead and just pick somebody here in my calendar. Oops, let's pick, a, let's pick this person. <clears throat> um, so we have uh, some other appointments here. So gray is the travel time. So it actually looks up Google Map figures out how long it's going to take at that time of the day, right? It's not obviously a guarantee because it's you're putting an event in the future. Um, and it books the travel time around that. And it also here at the end um, puts a travel time for you to go back to your home location. That could be your house or it could be a yard if you have, you know, if they're using uh, company equipment. So we're booking off drive time. We're doing route management. We're calculating time between appointments so you can send somebody that's going to be closest for you. That's proximity scheduling. Um, last thing here I want to show you is we have, uh, well, maybe a few more things. We have a user map. Looks like I don't have any cl one clocked in right now, but this actually shows the live location of the people that are using the mobile app and the route that they've been traveling. I don't think I have anyone clocked in here. Um, so this is great if I have maybe an emergency appointment or if I think the person's not doing what they're supposed to. I can, um, I can look here on my map, see their last location, and perhaps dispatch them to a new location if needed. <clears throat> um, a few more things in here. So I mentioned that we're integrated with Google Apps. Uh, obviously, we're integrated with Zoho CRM. Um, <clears throat> we also have a, a bio for each person and an image, uh, like a profile image. I think my profile image is here in the upper right, um, which is uh, you know, just my field tech logo. But um, that will go out with the email confirmation, so it shows them who is coming to their to, the, to their house or business, and also uh, just quick description, um, kind of gives that sense of comfort, so you know who's going to be there. Um, those are really the basics, I would say, of of the scheduler. I really don't want to jump into the weeds of the setup right now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just come back here to. Um, my roadmap, and I'm going to skip over that slide for now. So uh, uh, features that are coming. So some of these are already done. Um, the first two are actually already done. We said available Q4 2017. We're pretty far ahead of schedule there. Um, so the most requested feature was the proximity-based scheduling, showing the mileage and the minutes and travel between each location. Um, so that we have that. There are a couple more requests here. Uh, to actually sort by win rate uh, for a particular, that's more sales related. So if I send a particular person into the field, what's the likelihood that that person will close the job, uh, clo you know, close the deal? Um, and, and some people, they say, you know what, I don't, I don't care when the person's there, I want my best person to go. And um, that could be based on win rate or it could be based on a star rating. That could be more like a service rating. So one's more sales and one's more service related. Most requested again was proximity. Uh, next thing uh, that we did were, were these analytics. Um, so that's just at a glance is, hey, how many appointments am I getting per day? How fast am I getting to them? Um, so that, that helps you, uh, it, it helps everybody see what the value of the system is. Um, 
just, just in terms of route density and uh, cycle times or response times. Um, the next most requested feature, hands down, is the web scheduling wizard. That is due out at the end of August. Um, so that is where we'll be able to embed the scheduler online and, um, and allow people to set appointments online. It's a double-edged sword, I think, because um, you don't want to give them too much information. Um, so it's more like a little web form builder that comes back in, with the recommendation engine. Um, so that's, um, that's the next big feature. And then uh, mobile check-ins and checkouts. This is available in Zoho CRM's mobile app already. Uh, but with our check-in, we, we want to be able to record time. So when they get there, they check in. When they leave, they check out. That actually calculates the time, uh, the duration of the appointment can be used for all sorts of things. <clears throat> there are more features, but those are the those are the you know the super big ones. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for joining, and just want to leave the rest of the time open for questions, comments. I'll leave our contact information up there. <clears throat>